Yo yo, it's good YouTube. This is Ango, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a nav bar. This is gonna be the sixth video in this series. Let's get to it. All right. So first off, go to your included folder, create a new file called topnav.php, open up a PHP tag, and inside that we're gonna register. We're gonna make actually a new function called register and go top nav and inside that we're gonna WP register menus let me just check out the syntax real quick uh, register nav menus Let's register nav menus and inside that we're gonna do an array And in here, we're going to add the nav ID in the function. So it's going to be and go top nav. And then we're going to add the name. So and go top nav. All right, let's make it top menu. And one last thing, we're going to do the add action. It's going to be in it. And afterwards, it's going to be the function name as we know before. So we haven't included this in the functions. So let's make a new index.php over here. And why I did that is basically if we create a new file and they include it, I don't want it to be unorganized. So let's open up a PHP tag. I'll show you what I mean by this. We got an include. And inside there, we're going to include the top nav. So assume we have like a top nav, side nav, a footer nav, and we have that all that. So we could just include all of this in the index.php and then add it into the functions.php so what we're going to do is we're going to go into functions.php copy this and just change assets into index.php all right so let us go to the wordpress uh, admin panel so we're just going to go to localhost word press and WP admin so there are some errors right now let's just refresh that top nav on line 7 so on line 7 there is an error let's refresh that so as you can see here if we go to appearance and then menus and add a new menu that is going to be over there and save menu let's call that top menu save link uh, it's not going to be appearing now right now because we need to add the navbar code so let me just bring up some helper code and we just registered the nav menu we need to display the the code itself over here so basically go below the button over here where your nav links are and you're gonna add this code the helper code I'm just gonna show you right now so let me just bring up the helper code here's the header <coughs> I read this before just so I could do not waste your time guys so I have a new nav bar over here we could just add the this code into it so if you go to header.php remove this let's just refresh that so yeah as you can see here right now the sample page is working and let me go to index.php and we're just gonna echo the main index.php we're just gonna echo the title just remove all of this yep 
refresh that so yeah and let us make in the header let's make the uh, logo href to go into the home page so yeah as you could see here we echo this is the first post this is the post title so let me just explain to you what I did over here let's go into header.php I just added a PHP tag so let's keep that in front of us just added a PHP tag between the links the link where the links are and I, I displayed the WordPress nav menu with an array also so I could do a custom styling and also pull up the menu itself so first off is the theme location which over here is gonna be angle top menu a container class this is the class the CSS3 class which you could change I'm not gonna do that but I'm just gonna show you that it can be changed yo what's happening all right just one second I think I pressed alt shift by mistake go in English yep container class angle top nav class and the menu ID which we already declared before that is gonna be go into the top nav and it's gonna be angle top nav and also this is gonna be the angle top menu so just to make sure everything is correct and one last thing the menu class which is also another class that can be added top nav bar class top menu class let's make it top menu class all right so if we go we're gonna see that duplicated right now so yeah let me just get the helper code I read before because I changed the header a little bit here's the code if anybody needs that and yeah so you got the navbar sample page just made a sample page just one second uh, yeah I didn't change the link over here let's just change the link over here WordPress first that yep there it is working never and sample page theory. all right thank you so much for watching guys see the next video where I'm gonna create the footer and also show you how to add styles uh, for that in the next video thank you so much guys and you guys have a nice day peace